Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I want to thank you, all my brothers and sisters who have come out here today to show your solidarity, to show your support, and to show your stance against the fascist Indian government. I was born in an Indian-occupied Kashmir, a Kashmir that used to be known as a paradise on earth. The paradise that has been turned into a hell at the world's largest open-air prison, occupied by over a million armed forces, by over a million Indian armed forces illegally since 1947. Every human rights violation has been committed by these Indian forces on the innocent people of Kashmir. Since the last two years, after the abrogation of Article 370, when India unilaterally, unconstitutionally abrogated that article and took away all the democratic rights, reoccupying the land and territories of Indian-occupied Kashmir. The people of Kashmir have been mercilessly subjected to the human rights violations. There is no human rights, there are no human rights that have been respected by the Indian fascist government. Our youth have been imprisoned and killed. Our women have been raped. Our children have been forced into drug addiction or killed in fake encounters. Today, while the India tries to tell the world that it is a secular democratic country, I ask Narendra Modi, I ask the world parliament, I ask the world community, what about the rights of the people of Kashmir? What about the rights of the people of Khalistan? Are they not human beings? Why is it that over 8 million people of Indian occupied Kashmir are subjected to this humiliation? Why is it they've been imprisoned in their own homes when India is celebrating its independence today? Why are the people of Kashmir forced in Kashmir to stay in their homes? Why are they not allowed to voice their aspirations freely? A clear message must go back to the Indian government, to the Indian forces, that the people of Kashmir, no matter what, we will continue our struggle for the right of self-determination, our struggle for freedom. We will stand with our brethren of Khalistan until they have got their referendum, until they have celebrated their independence. We will stand with the minorities of India, especially the Muslims of India, who have been subjugated by this terrorist government, by this fascist government. India, my dear friends, India is a failed democratic, failed secular society that the world should take notice of. Let, let's not live in a blind side. Let's not live in a fool's paradise. That is a fascist regime that is ruling the India today. Today, they are curbing the rights of the minorities in India. Their aspirations, their dreams of Akhand Bharat just do not stay with India. They stretch all the way from Kerala unto the Saudi Arabia. They want to conquer, they want to kill, they want to exterminate all the minorities across the lands. Today, their focus is on the Muslims of Kashmir, on the Sikhs of Khalistan, on the Muslims of uh, India. Tomorrow, it will be the rest of the world. So let us stand up today together. Let us stand together against such fascist government. Let's send a message today. No matter where we are in the world, we stand with those people who fight for their right of self-determination. Kashmir! Kashmir! Khalistan! Kashmir! Khalistan!